Hey guys, Computer1633 here, and we are going to play some more One Hour, One Life. Uh, now, we're still going to play on server 15, so if you want to join, uh, feel free uh, to come check it out. And we actually spawned as a baby this time. That's new. Um, I don't know if they're going to come back as a girl. Uh, okay. <laughs> so they're they're not going to they're not going to uh, keep me alive. They want me to spawn back as a girl. Well, all right. Uh, let's see if we. <laughs> all right. Well, we spawned back as a girl. Uh, the the downside is that because we spawned in as a baby. We did lose uh, where we were when we were building our colony the last time. Um, so, I guess we're starting over. Alright. So that's the first time I've seen another player on server 15. Um, I know that the, the population has been rising on server 15. Um, and I think that that's probably in part due to the fact that there's now... A uh, couple of other people uh, that are also streaming uh, that have moved over to server 15. So, I don't know. I, I expect we'll see more people more often uh, moving forward, which is great. I mean, that's how you build a, a large colony, right? You need people for it. So, uh, let's see if we can find ourselves a decent starting spot so far. This does not look all that great. Um, there's no water at all. So, all right. So I did find out these uh, these burdock plants are actually uh, the other temporary food source, similar to the uh, wild onions that we find laying around. Uh, I saw some over here somewhere. Uh, those black, spiky-looking wild onions. Uh, let's see if we can find some real quick here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, right there. So that's the other one, the wild onion. These are uh, one time. You can eat them. They don't grow back. Uh, same with these, these burdocks here. It's like a one-time food. Uh, it doesn't grow back, but it is good for... Uh, you know, if you're traveling or you can't find food or whatever. Uh, they do a significant amount more than the berries do also. So. Alright, let's run north. And see if we can come across somewhere that would be a decent spot to set up at. Now, I'm going to want to try and get started kind of quickly today because if there is another person on the server there's a good chance that they are going to spawn in as my child when they die uh, unless I'm too old at that point so I need to have some sort of a something set up at least so that we can try and survive with a child alright so let's see we've got bunnies here uh, we've got one pond here. There was there was one or two ponds over here on the other side of the bunnies as well. I believe there's one, two, three. There's actually three ponds over here on the other side of the bunnies. And we've got bunnies. We've got clay. There's another pond. I would really like to find some green. Green would be good. Um... Uh, there's a gold vein. Oh, I need food. Food would be good. Completely forgot about food. Oh, man. Well, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, that was fun. That was quick. Alright, uh, let's try again. Okay, so this time we need to watch our food. I was so preoccupied with the fact that I had actually seen another player on the server uh, that I just didn't even think about watching my food. 
Holy crap, look at all the water. All right, uh, I need to find green uh, so I can build here because this is a lot, a lot of water. And that is amazing. We have some bunnies over here. Uh, let me see if I can find, there's some more water. Wow, that is so much water. So much water. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that much water all in one spot. Oh, here's some green. Oh, this could be this could be perfect. Oh my gosh. With all that water down there, this could be this could be like Eden. This could be the perfect spot to build and sustain a colony at. So, let's see if we can find a good spot to just get started at. Alright, so the water... Let's see here. Is there more water over here, too? Oh, there might be bunnies. That would be good. Uh, there's a couple bunnies. It's not a whole lot of... Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is absolutely where we're going to build. Uh... Our colony is over here in this green area because there's just there's an abundance of bunnies there's an abundance of water I need food there's a burdock down there I saw it all right so this is absolutely going to be our new colony somewhere right in here probably I might start it like right uh, maybe right here actually is not a bad spot there's enough open land that I think we can make this spot work uh, until we are able to get an axe all right so let's just make sure we're not too far from all that water oh no no we're good okay this is this is an amazing start already so we've got uh, quite a bit of decent green here that we can build on um, so we're going to start a farm down here somewhere. Oh, there's a whole bunch of... Oh man, this is an amazing spot. Um, the only thing... The only thing is there does not seem to be an abundance of usable trees. And there doesn't seem to be an abundance of berries or temporary food either um, and that could be an issue well, here's quite a bit up here three plants three berry plants all right well let's see if we can make it work um, because I this is a this is an insane spot for water so we're gonna try okay so let's get started. Um, first uh, thing is going to be trying to get some food going, probably. Let me grab that, uh, that skewer there for our home marker. And I guess that for now, I'm going to put our home marker somewhere right up in that area. All right. Um, so there's some, there's some dirt right there. Let's go ahead and get that. Get uh, a farm area started up here. I'm just going to put it there. We've got tons and tons of water south. We've got a, a significant population of bunnies to the west. Um, overall, this is probably going to be a pretty good spot to set up. As long as we can survive to get some sort of food production going, uh, then we should be okay. And we will get started on that here very shortly. Alright. Alright, so we've got the start of where we're going to put the uh, first few crops. I'm going to 
gonna need more reeds for baskets. I'm gonna need a lot more baskets. I hear some milkweed. I'll just wait for this to wait for this to fruit up so we can take it. Okay. Got another water right there too. Here's another another milkweed. We'll just bring that down here. Go ahead and harvest that. Okay. So, all right, we need to get uh, we need to get food going pretty quickly because there's not a whole lot of it. I mean, there's some, but not even close to the level that we're gonna need just to survive here alone. Let alone if that other player ends up spawning on us, uh, it's gonna be a whole nother. That's going to be a whole nother issue. So, let's see what we can do about getting this going quickly. Now, for the sake of quick, I think that I'm actually going to go ahead and build bowls first this time. Because there's not a lot of milkweed around. And so I think going for bunnies first for water pouches this time is going to be a mistake. Um, so, all right. So let's go see if we can find some more milkweed. Uh, there's some right there. I'll take that. And then I'll go ahead and grab this food. I'll eat that one. Okay. Where did that other one go? I had that other... Oh, it's over here. There it is. Alright, I want that with that. Alright, let's go take this stuff back. And... Go up here again. I'm going to try and collect uh, some of this burdock and take it back down with me because it's a decent uh, for food early game. Okay. All right, so let's take this back down here. Now I need to find a round. I need to find a round stone so that we can actually set up that home marker. All right, let's go see what we can find over here. There was some, uh, I wonder if there's more bunnies over here. There's doesn't seem to be, there is a couple Carrot seeds, though. I will take those and get those planted down here. I guess we'll start with carrots this time. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this. Uh, I still need a round stone, don't I? I just realized that. Uh, let's see, there's usually round, so yeah, there's usually round stones out here in the, in the snow. Alright, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, that's also not what I wanted to do. Boy, I'm having some issues today, aren't I? Okay, so now I've got a home marker up. Uh, let's put this down, let's grab this stick. And let's get a snare made up. Okay. Now I'm going to take this basket and the snare and come out towards the bunnies over here. See if we can get some, uh, some bunnies started at least. Alright, so the bunnies haven't grown yet, so we'll just leave them there for now. Some more water. That's good. Fruiting barrel cactus. 
Plus a snake skin boot makes a fruit boot. I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> That's new. Uh, can you eat this? Oh, you can. Okay. I kind of feel like I probably shouldn't have eaten that, but oh well. There's more. All right. Let's, uh, let's see. What do we need? We need some more bunnies up here. Okay. So I really need uh, some more milkweed. Okay, there's one. Go ahead and take this as well. All right. There's another milkweed. It's not. It's not actually to the point we needed that yet, but it will be very soon. So I'm just going to wait for it. I wasn't going to do water pouches first. However, I am thinking that I might. I don't know yet. We'll see what we'll see what happens. I want that. All right, let's run this stuff back down to the base. We will just have to see what happens. All right, put that there. I'll put that there. We'll take this one with us. All right, so I'm going to need to get milkweed planted here, like, super soon as well. Um, because we don't have a lot of it. Now, from what I've been told and what I've read, those don't reseed once you pick the seeds off them. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick that carrot and use it for food. All right, let's continue looking for milkweed here. There's some more green over here. Uh, nothing. Let's go this way. Okay, nothing. Alright. So milkweed is definitely going to be an issue getting started here. Uh, it's not something that we can't fix because there are milkweed plants. We can just grab some seeds off of the next time they fruit. However, getting us started is going to be a little bit more difficult without the initial milkweed. So, oh, here we go. Here's a couple. This is good. All right. I need that one to do its thing. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to come grab this burdock right here. Oh, there's one right there, too. All right. So I'm going to grab one of them, put it in the basket, grab the other one and eat it, because I'm pretty low. I just cannot believe how much water is here. Wow. Okay. So we are actually close. I need one, I need two more threads. Okay. So I need two more threads. I need one for the hatchet. And then I need one for the fire bow drill. Then we can get a fire started. Oh, actually, I need three more threads because I need one for uh, the actual water pouch as well. But then we can build a water pouch and we can get started on growing some food and some more milkweed. That's absolutely going to be a priority of this game, apparently, is milkweed. It really just depends on where you start, honestly. Uh, you know, this game, priority is obviously going to be milkweed. Um, oh, wow, look at all these maple trees. I'm just going to pull these off so that I can use them, and they'll also... Uh, start the respawn timer on them. Pull this one off too, I guess. Alright. 
So let's make another basket here. It's one thing that we're going to need lots of are baskets. Okay, let's go grab some berries. We got berries right here. Make sure we don't die. That would not be fun. Okay. So I do need more milkweed. Uh, let me go see if I can find just a little bit more. And... Just a little bit more. Sometimes there is milkweed in the uh, other biomes, but it doesn't seem like there is all that often. I don't think I've ever seen it in the mountainous biome. Alright, we've got our home marker. Oh, there's lots of berries up here. i got to remember this. So there's one milkweed. Wow, there's, there's just tons of berries up here. If this wasn't so far from that water we found, I would just start up here. Okay, uh, there's a milkweed there. And there was one. Oh, there's some more. Okay, we've got all that we need right here to at least get us going. Um, oh, that one just did its thing. Okay, this one's ready. And there's two more up here that I saw. Where's the other one? There it is. All right, that is good. Look at this, there's the thread I need too, right there. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's combine these. There we go. I'm going to eat some of these berries since there's tons of them up here. Alright, let's grab our stuff and head back down. Head back down this way. Oh, there's some more milkweed right here, too. Look at this. Alright, so I'm going to come back up here and harvest this milkweed. we got more bunnies. This is just a really, really good spot. There's a lot of resources here that we can use to get us going. Um, yeah, that's, that's really good. All right, so here's this. Let's take this string out. Now I am going to go collect a little more string. Uh, two more string, or thread, I guess is what it is. Two more thread would be ideal. Uh, that would give me enough for three water pouches, which would be great. Um, oh, here's an onion. I'll just eat that. That's better. Better food. Okay. <clears throat> so three more would be great. That would be ideal if I could get three total water pouches. So there's one. I just need one more. Uh, here's one right here. That's ready to go. And there's one there. Perfect. Okay. So now I can get three water pouches to start with as soon as the bunnies have you know, done what bunnies do. Seems like in this game, bunnies do that less than what I would expect. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so let's take this back down here. Let's get the pieces that we need, and then we'll go capture some bunnies. We'll use the bunnies to make some water skins, and we'll get our crops going. Uh, we will need to go collect some more seeds, uh, which is fine. I'm actually going to take this basket and see if I can collect some seeds on the way out there to do the bunnies. And, okay, perfect. So our bunnies have all done what bunnies do. So let's just start capturing them then. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to look for some more seeds. Here's some. Forgot my sharp stick. Or my sharp, not stick, my sharp stone. 
So now I've got to run all the way back here for food. That was dumb. All right. So let's plant this. Plant this. Uh, I need... Well, I need to eat. All right. I need one of those small curved... Small curved branches. Take that so it respawns. You always need those for firewood for kindling so I always just pull these off so I can there's one one of the curved ones all right so let's run this back down we will use this to make our fire bow drill which we have everything for now so let's take the sharp stick make that into that use this on the maple log twice to make our short shaft and then fire bow drill all right there's that so let's go grab one of those other uh maple logs that we pulled earlier we'll use this as our fire starter log we'll put it right here i guess all right and now I need one more round stone. I'm going to... Oh, there's one right there. I'll just grab that real fast. Okay. Let's turn this into a sharp stone. Okay. Now we take the string. We use it on the short shaft. And then we put that with that to get the hatchet. And that is what we need for kindling. All right, so let's go ahead and switch places here. I'm gonna put the kindling over on this side of where the fire will be. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this basket and head up to find some food since we've exhausted our burdock supply. Uh, we'll get the fire started and then we'll be cooking bunnies so we can use that for food. There's some more carrot seeds, but I'm going to have to get more soil first, so I'm going to leave that for now. Is there no more burdock up here? It doesn't look like it. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's go get some bunnies then. Get that going. Uh, where are the bunnies? They're over here. Over here, bunnies. Alright. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's move the trap. Move the snare over to that family hole. And move this closer to all the, the families over here. Alright, where was that carrot seed that I picked? There it is. Because I'm going to eat it now. Alright. Uh, I don't want to pick that yet. So there's so many bunnies out here. This is going to be really good. Alright, let me run this back while I'm capturing that last bunny. Run this back over here. Put it up here somewhere, I guess. Doesn't really matter where I put it, but... All right, come down here, get some berries. I'll just eat both of them. That'll start the respawn timer on the berries. Okay, so now let's get that for the fire. I'm going to need another one of these maple logs that I pulled off of down here. Okay. So we'll get that in place. Uh, then I'm also going to need a flint chip, which I thought that I had just recently seen flint. Somewhere close, I thought. Yep, there's some. Okay. I should have brought a basket. <laughs> I don't know why I left the basket, but... Uh, whatever. All right. So I'm just gonna grab one of these. I don't want the whole. I don't want the whole stack. Uh, let's go ahead and eat another berry. 
All right. I really need to get close. Close significantly slows uh, the rate at which you use your food. And that's going to be very useful. Okay. Uh, so let's... Let's see here. We have everything we need to get the fire started. So let's do that real quick before we go collect the first of the bunnies. That way... We can, all right, hopefully have some hot coals by the time we get back with the bunnies so we can get the first round of bunnies cooked right away. And uh, that'll not only give us food, but it'll give us the what we need for the water pouches so we can get the carrots started. All right, let's continue that and take these back to the, back to the colony. Okay. I'm not going to have time. I'm going to have to get one more berry first. There we go. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and unload bunnies. You know, I should have put this. Oops. I should have put that there. All right. Unload the bunnies. I just realized that I do not have a skewer for the bunnies, so I need to grab one of those real fast. There's one here. And then for the sake of getting back before those coals die down, I'm just going to leave that stone there for a minute. Alright, now I have a skewer. I need to eat. Okay. Go ahead and get these ones cooked real fast. And then, there's that. Alright. So now, we move the bones. We'll take one out. I'll use that as my needle. Needle and thread. Okay, let's separate these out. Use the flint on them cut them up and now we can make our water pouches perfect okay so now we can go collect some water and get those why did i put one i put one in a different spot that was weird okay i am going to need more kindling but first i'm going to get these carrots started Okay, so let's get the carrots started here. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna water three of them, all three of them here, just to, to start. Now I'm gonna put the water pouches here, cause I'm gonna make some more baskets to put along the side to hold carrots. Um, Go ahead and eat that last rabbit. I'm going to go grab some more kindling. Right there, some. And then I'm going to go collect some more rabbits so we can get started on some clothes as well. Because uh, we're going to need clothes. So we don't go through so much darn food. We're going through a lot of food right now. Alright, so let's go out here. I left the bunny basket, didn't I? Yes, I did. I did leave the bunny basket. Okay. I need a basket for bunnies. <laughs> I left it over here. I also need to go pick up my sharp stone that's up here somewhere. I left it. Wherever that skewer was, that's where I left that sharp stone. There it is. I think I'm going to take this for kindling at the same time, actually. So I'll bring this down here. Turn that into kindling. Yeah, I may as well just put it on there. Okay, let me grab that sharp stone. Wherever it was, there it is. And I may as well eat these berries. 
So they do five now. The wild ones. So I will grab one more. And eat it. That'll fill my food bars up. Okay. Alright. So um, I need more baskets for carrots. That's what I need right now. Which means I need more reeds. Like, a lot more. Here we go. Oops, why did I put that down? Alright. Okay. So that's, that's awesome. That's a good amount of reeds all in one spot. I like this. This is a good spot to start, honestly. There's like... I mean, there wasn't a lot of milkweed... But there's enough to get started, and the rest of the resources that are here are abundant. So this is a really nice spot. Alright, so the fire's back down to coals again. We're going to need more kindling. Uh, let me grab these baskets, though, because once those carrots sprout, we're going to need somewhere to store them. So that we don't starve to death. Okay, there's another basket. Let's go grab the... Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize that I need to eat. So let's do that real fast so we don't die. That would be a horrible... That would be horrible to lose this spot, honestly. Okay, let's go get that last basket. Then we'll go out and... Finish off the, the bunnies that we were doing. I think I'm too, too far up here. Where was it? Yeah, it's right down here. Alright, let's grab that one. Okay. Let's bring it back up this way. And I'm just gonna... I hate to waste maple logs, but I don't want the fire to go out, so... I'm going to put that on there. Oh, hey, our carrots are done. Darn good thing we got some more baskets, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to store all these carrots, and I don't want to lose the soil. Okay, let's go get another basket. Put that one right there. Okay, just to make sure these don't, I'm just going to move them over here while I go grab another basket. I'm actually probably going to have to make even more baskets, but uh, that's okay. Alright, so now we're good on food. I'm going to take this one with me while I go do some bunny work. It's quite interesting. The person that I had spawned into in the beginning did not spawn in on me. Um, as I was expecting them to. Oh, I forgot the basket for the bunnies. Let me go get that. I was expecting somebody to spawn on me. Uh, but they did not. They did not spawn on me. Okay. I absolutely hate to use these as kindling, but I need to keep this fire going so that I can cook more bunnies. It's just easier this way. Alright, let's grab this. We'll use this for bunnies. I do have a carrot out there. I mean, I'm right here. I guess I could just eat one from my stash, huh? I'll just do that. Alright. Eh, let's go do bunnies. Okay. One more. There we go. Now yeah, that one could go there. Let's go back. Unload these bunnies. Uh, probably cook them. 
probably. I don't know, let's see. So that was good timing on the coals to go ahead and cook up some bunnies. I will eat that now. Okay. So we've got three furs. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to need more milkweed. So uh, I need more milkweed. It's really hard to do much when you start getting older without clothing because you just go through food so quickly. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more thread to make clothes. So I should probably work on that. Let me go get some more bunnies. And I'm going to have to find myself a nice berry bush to die next to here shortly because my food is dropping fairly rapidly. I forgot my bunny basket again. Oh my gosh. I gotta stop forgetting the bunny basket. This is just so much wasted time running back and forth for the bunny basket. Like, I just need to remember to bring it. Okay. So I don't want to eat the carrots. I'll eat the carrots until I get down to the point where I'm wasting the carrots. And then I need to find a berry bush to use. Because um, the berries do significantly less food boxes, especially wild ones. Uh, so it's more resource effective to eat uh, the berries once you get down to you know somewhere in like eight bars or so okay so we'll eat that carrots do uh, seven so it's not bad okay so now we've got another thing full of bunnies Let's continue our bunny collection and take these ones back. Okay. Okay, so let's put... Okay, I'm going to move this cooked bunny out of the way. And then let's do... Let's see here. Oops. Nope. Move to there. All right. Put this here. Uh, and then let's cook up some more of these real quick while we have coals. Okay, so our next priority, which is not going to probably be on this run, is going to be uh, milkweed for thread, so that we don't lose our our temperature so fast, or our food meter so fast. Okay, so it sounded like my fire just went out. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it did. Okay. Well, that's that's okay. Because I only have... Hmm. Kind of thinking about going to find some thread right now. Uh, I just don't want to get too far. Because I want to make sure I get the old age death. I think I'm not going to go that far because the milkweed was pretty far. Let me see if I can just find some more soil. Uh, 
wait out my time here and expand the farm and that way uh, yeah that's a better I think that's a better use of my remaining time here is expanding out this farm okay uh, now there was a berry bush here I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of those now okay all right so I'm gonna expand out the carrot farm just a little bit I also need to get started on milkweed so I need to figure out where to put the milkweed farm um, I don't want to put it too far away from the carrot farm I kind of keep all the crops in one generalized area okay so I think I'll put the milkweed actually maybe like right down in this area either that or up above it just a little bit okay um yeah okay so we'll put it hmm, maybe maybe up on top I don't know let me put this basket down I need to find more fertile soil uh, I'm gonna grab a berry while I look see if I can find any So I'm going to need more soil for the farm area. Hmm. Uh, nope, there's, nope, that's clay. Soil looks different. Hmm. Okay, well... There's not any over here, so let's go this way and look, I guess. Let's see if I can find some over here. Alright. So, I'm getting down to the end. Um, so, at this point, I'm not going to actually do anything else. I'm just going to let it layout was that soil right there was that a bunny no it's a bunny yeah at this point i'm just gonna let it play out um because i really want that old age death uh three is where we get the old age death so we've got four boxes before we hit it soon to be three i think um i don't know exactly there's some soil there we go okay so yeah we've got three boxes before we hit the old age death uh, it's, it's a, that's a good death. So we have gotten to the point where it's not informing us we are hungry anymore. So we need to watch that. Uh, there's some soil. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, here's some more soil. So there's a couple more patches of soil up here that I can use. Um, we're probably going to have to work on composting pretty soon though because two patches of soil is not going to last us all that long uh, that's only 10 plots and milkweed actually uses the soil it goes away so that's going to be that's going to be a sink right there just using it for milkweed uh, we need the milkweed so we're going to have to do it but um we're going to have to get composting going. I haven't actually done the new composting yet. Uh, it requires worms now, which you get from the empty soil pits. Um, so that'll be new for me. It'll be kind of fun. Um, I'm really hoping that I don't end up spawning into some other player at this point. Because I really, really like this spot. This is a really good spot. Um... And I would love to get to continue it. Uh, so hopefully, we'll get to continue it. Um, 
All right, two bars. Two food bars left. Old age death. I've got the, the old age music going, so. All right, one bar left. One box. I guess it's not really a bar, it's a box. One box left. <laughs> So next, uh, next run, if hopefully we spawn here, uh, we will work on clothing. We will work on probably getting milkweed set up. And I don't know. All right, there it is, old age. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. Leave me comments. Let me know what you think. If there's something that you know, I could do better or uh, whatever, let me know. I read them all. Um, again, thank you for watching. I very, very much appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you next time.